Before we get into the video, I just want to make an announcement that my brother Osaya Sedrin will be going live today at 10 pm IST. Link will be there in the description. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a full gameplay of Lindis in the jungle. I know that Lindis is a very controversial pick right now. Uh, she is very bad uh, in the meta. But still, I just wanted to give her a try and make a video. And also it's been so long since I made a video, right? So. Yeah, might as well do one today because I was free, okay? So, the game got updated and we have Chi now. And there are a, a little changes, like visual changes as well. And Tulan looks kind of creepy. Let me know what you guys think about the Tulan rework. Uh, I mean, the ability effects and animations are cool, but just the image alone looks creepy. Okay. So I already decided that I was going to play Lindis. So the opponents are Hayate, Chi. Chi is kind of bad against. I mean, Lindis is kind of bad against Chi because we are going to depend so much on our uh, jungle. And Chi is a very good hero when it comes to camping. But we'll see how it goes. And also the opponents go for Wukong. Okay, we have Lumber. And guys, uh, this uh, video is going to be about the best support that you have ever seen okay i should probably include it in the title featuring best support ever okay and you'll know why i am talking like this after the match like goes past 10 minutes and yeah let's get right into the match and starting off as lindis you always have to se select your second ability and select it as soon as you join the match and in 30 seconds when the blue buff spawns you will be able to detonate three bombs at the same time so that will be giving you a lot of boost in your jungle speed in the early game so follow it like this so lower the creep outside and then place the third bomb so that all three explode like if you place the third bomb before the creep walks on the other two uh, one of the bombs will disappear so at, at a time there can only be two traps I mean two mines so okay, keep uh, note of that and also after that never upgrade your second ability whenever there is an option for you to upgrade your first and also your second ability always go for your first ability because that will increase your damage uh, many people tend to upgrade their second ability on Lindis thinking that it's the damage dealing ability but no the first ability is passive is that Every 3 auto attacks you do on an enemy, the third auto attack deals more damage. So that's the most important part of uh, Lindis' arsenal. So you have to unlock that, I mean upgrade that every single time. Okay, and also don't go for war boots. Uh, she's going to be going in and out of fights, so she can't really get stuck by CC, which will be really bad for her. So always go for uh, Gilded Greaves, because you're going to be playing her as an assassin for the most part. Okay, so we are at level 4. Wukong came to the bottom lane to kill Alain, so he is a bit slow in the jungle rotation. Here I thought not to go, but still did it anyways. And uh, before I used my, I, I, yeah, I used my first ability and got the vision, but before I can react and dash backward with my ultimate, I was already dead. And our pro mage, who didn't even clear the wave, and our pro support were in the top lane. BC, I guess. Anyways, it's my bad. I should have been more careful. Okay, so coming back to the next jungle rotation, we are off to a very glorious start right here. Okay, now we got our ultimate, now our jungle clear will be a bit faster. I honestly don't like the rework, like I said in my previous in this video. I really don't like the right, like, I mean, sorry, like the rework. I used to like her more when she was just the lindis with five stacks in ultimate that used to be really good but uh, let me know what you guys think okay we got another wave in the mid lane thanks to op drax staying in the top lane forever uh, whatever more gold for us is always good as long as enemies don't camp us too much okay alain and she are fighting so we can come here and try to get a kill Okay, she used flicker and her dash. I think we'll be able to chase and kill her. Yeah, the double shot just uh, like left our crossbow and dealt the 
little bit of damage that was needed to kill her and also i think the passive proc there since it was the third attack so i did one and then went into the grass and uh, grass and then shot her two times uh, which is a total of three attacks so the third attack deals more damage right so she died okay now we are looking pretty good uh, we got one kill and we got two lanes worth of gold so th that one kill doesn't make a lot of difference but we cleared the mid lane and also we cleared the bottom lane while also killing the enemy chi so that's a lot of gold and now as you can see i'm being very careful and i'm just going to camp here i know wukong won't be able to kill me even if he tried now because i, I have my ultimate and i also have vision and he is uh, not a very good early game hero so yeah that is what i did there i tried to poke him a little bit and i slowed down his rotation if you guys notice properly i came towards the sage buff because that's where i wanted to go but he tried to chase me a little bit and then went off route okay so yeah so that's uh, something you should note so these are very minor things but they at the end make a lot of impact in the game okay so clearing the jungle again the red buff hasn't spawned because uh, we got it late last time okay wukong is here okay we got the vision so he cannot go invisible he's trying to use his first ability to go invisible but it's not going to work for him he also didn't step on the trap but still again the double shot and the passive killed him guys okay i know that trixie was coming from that side and that is why i was being careful not to like go straight into the lane trying to kill alice uh which alan did and ended up dying bad for him uh, we got two kills and we have the most gold now i think maybe krixi has more she has four kills and zero deaths we have two kills and one deaths but yeah another free wave in the middle lane thanks to dirac look at dirac guys just look at where he is going he spawned and immediately starts walking towards the abyssal lane through the jungle what a gentleman what a pro mid laner yeah so <laughs> this is like the 20th wave that he is missing in the middle lane and since it's solo queue i don't really mind but still you can see how bad of a rotation he's doing right so never do this guys okay alice used her silence dodged her stun but i don't think we'll be able to defend okay we got our ultimate here crixi got stuck and look at the damage guys We used our ult with three stacks and three ghosts went and attacked and killed her. Okay, we should be able to chase Alice down because we have our ultimate again, and we did. Okay, so another wave here. So guys, uh, you need to get in order to get the stacks, you need to kill. So every time you kill a minion or a creep or a hero or a whatever, you get one stack. And every time you unlock her passive, like use three attacks on something, you get one stack. So that is how you get the stacks. And upon using your ultimate you use the stacks and three souls go on attack if you have three stacks so that's basically it and also i'm not afraid of chi uh, i opened the scoreboard to check her gold uh, in order to see if i should be afraid or if i should be careful and then i saw that she only has uh, the soul detainer so i just can go straight ahead and kill her 1v1 i mean go straight for her without uh, being careful at all so that's the goal lead that i had which and uh, if you guys notice properly i did check before going right i opened the scoreboard and that is what i saw okay she has only one item and i have three so she is not going to be able to stop me and i just went in and killed her okay now i have to be a bit more careful because now is when the opponents will start noticing that i am the one dealing everything and they should they will try to focus me from now on so need to be careful about that but uh, our jungling is like going very well okay lumber what is lumber doing here okay yeah, say wait guys i will i will uh, show you the pro tricks of this lumber after some time i um, mean his name this or her I'm, i'm not sure their name is dm angel black and throughout my life I have only seen them play support. I have never seen that guy or a girl play any other hero in their life except support. I mean any other role. Okay, personally, I I've, I've known them for 2 years or maybe even from India server 4 years and they only play support and look at how good they are. 
see an ultimate which hasn't hit anyone okay, okay he got the kill okay silence escape the stun otherwise i would have died there okay krixi is coming okay krixi is going in the mid lane i'm not going to go and help them out because that's like wasting a lot of time i have my red buff i also have the wave in the bottom lane and uh, we're not really losing any towers right so they don't really need my help i'm going to camp here and see if someone else comes to clear this wave and okay it's alice poor alice died okay so yeah i was actually uh thinking that krixi will come and i'll get a juicy kill but i think she knew so she decided to stay back and alice walked in like anub and died okay nice flicker by chi i really like appreciate the courage man but <laughs> did you see the gold before you approached me like <laughs> see this is what happens guys so when i tried to go and heal her i was being careful i checked the gold and look at what that guy did just came flicker and thought he can kill me so always check your gold before fighting an opponent okay so that's the uh, thing that we are all going to learn from the cheese life okay going in oh am i legendary yeah eight kills and zero deaths for oh, the first death that i died and now we are like unstoppable okay i think i play a bit more aggressive here yeah i try to like go and kill them because it's just chi and uh, alice but then krixi also joins look at my hp guys i i still wasn't dying even though three of them were attacking and if i had a little help from my team i could have like killed them or all or at least i could have survived like i have eight kills and if i die now that's going to be a lot of gold to the enemies and i was really frustrated at this point because all of them were there but none of them uh, really cared like i have 10k gold and these guys see this this is what they are without me hayate just killed our marksman who was that was that our marksman Hayate literally killed our Alain and our Lumber, 1v2. So, like what? I think this is what you guys complain all the time. I don't usually play solo queue, but this is a solo queue gameplay. I just wanted to record a match immediately and post. And now I feel your pain. Like what? What was that? Like I have 10k gold. All these guys need to do now is support me, and I will end the match. But you will see what they'll do. Okay? wait and see guys wait and see how good they are i have 12k gold now i think or at least 11k and look at these guys all standing in the altar they just need to die at least even I, no one wants your help just go and stand like um like raw meat and just die no one wants you to use any abilities no one wants you to help me no one wants you to stun no one wants you to deal damage just throw some stupid abilities that's all i want okay she's being very aggressive and this is what she gets okay you, you have to like again again the same case with krixi just check how much gold an opponent has and then try to go and fight them like what happened i just one shotted her maybe she thought alice and uh, chi will be able to come help her but no she still died and look at the lumber yeah guys look at a legendary support player someone who has been playing for 4 years look at this piece of shit <laughs> i said <laughs> you should have seen my live commentary of this gameplay like i was so mad osas was sitting right next to me and even he got startled by the way i shouted and uh, yeah this is all hate guys no I i'll be only angry like this for like 5 minutes maximum and then i'll be cool like if this was like i say a recording of the live gameplay i mean live voice recording you will really know how mad i get but uh, it's it just lasts for like 5 minutes okay uh, don't think i'm toxic or anything but you just saw that right i died and then this guy just randomly walks all the way up to the lane and then tries to like fight hayate and then gets poked out and almost dies but barely escaped So what what was the whole point of him walking towards the lane? I know I don't know. And now he's with me. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, everyone is there in the top lane and the middle lane. 
trying to clear waves and the legendary support decided to support me so the one time he decided to support me was when i really 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 didn't need it and what i'm trying to do here is i'm doing these guys all a favor and these guys are too trash to even understand this see i am clearing the waves from behind all these guys need to do is clear the lane i mean one wave in that one lane the bottom lane i mean the top lane we have four guys to clear one lane and they failed three of them died only hayate is alive and now i am scared that the match might be over if i don't go so i have to recall and look at what these guys are saying seriously i don't know guys and now i am going to kill hayate no matter what that's what i was thinking i could have used my ultimate to go back but he was just dancing too much and i don't really care at this point i lost all the hope like i was clearing mid lane and bottom lane trying to stop the minions from going towards the high ground towers and all these guys needed to do was clear one lane and we also have dirac and lumber what difficulty do you have in clearing one lane of like mean, minions i seriously don't know. and then now look at this guy see where he is going i am like fully focused on him see wow what a dodge maybe he went there to bait oh my god wow he almost missed guys like it was just few millimeters difference and he could have got ukang in his ultimate and would have shut him down but yeah even uh, legends fail sometime it happens right and now let's see what he is going to do like whenever i die i just fully focus on that guy i'm just trying to learn something about supporting from him because i obviously know he is a very pro support right he's been playing for a very long time so paying attention to the pros that is how you learn okay so that is how i've learned my whole life and okay yeah i know that was bad but still see what these guys are doing okay la we got one kill oh okay yeah nice vision item right who wants vision item against ukong they just now nerfed his first ability that it won't be giving him invisibility for 1.5 seconds and instead it's just going to be one second and look did you see how good of an ultimate he just used there guys if someone who watches my video knows him please tell the cdet to watch my video i just really want him to watch the video and say, okay wow what an ultimate all three but no one alive guys now i i'll show you the profile of this guy after this match see i'm like fully focusing on him trying to learn as much as support stuff as possible did you even see him support me once the one time he he was support see again what an amazing ultimate who on earth would be using their ult on this direction it's just it's the bottom lane just use it like towards the lane and at least you'll get one uh, is he i feel like he's tapping at this point okay uh, i don't know i'm just being so toxic i think right now but yeah but i just wanted to be straight forward not going to hide anything cuz you can see what an abomination of a support is going on there okay and especially in solo queue i was already frustrated that i am not getting any help and this guy was in my team and i thought okay this guy has been playing support ever since i've known him so maybe he'll be good and then this is what he does okay again yeah okay, yeah at this point i know it was over no no i was already angry so i'm not playing good enough and then yeah see again he just like went through the battlefield and then lost all his hp used a stupid vis vision item what like purchase purify man what is wrong with you see another amazing ultimate trying to clear the i mean the infinite slayer i guess guys i i i just can't i just can't he until the end of the match he only ever used used vision item for running away because it gives him extra movement speed <laughs> then why would you use that okay okay i'm not going to keep going that's it i'll just show you his profile and you guys will know that i'm not like bluffing you you'll see you'll see okay we got the mvp no no doubts about that we got even legendary in such a stupid match and you saw how powerful indis was until 10 minutes and when my team decided to like when team fight started happening we uh, we started falling off and that's it when it was like 
I was like catching people solo and killing them. Uh, it was good. It, yeah, it, you see how fast I rejected that request. That is how mad I was. You can see from my actions um, the state of mind that I was at. Okay, report wrong role. <laughs> guys, guys, ignore this. Ignore this. This is not for you guys to see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, that was really like solo queue is frustrating. I get you guys' pain now. See, see is uh, Titan. See, Ten first. Okay, then Grack, then Arum, then Lumber, then Omega, then Malak. See, then Mina, a true support guard. That's what he is. Playing support for four years, and this is how good he is. See his combat history. He only rarely plays warriors or marksman. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful. And if you did, make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. I hope you all have a really great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.